Pioneer Audio Multi Channel Receiver SX316. Uh, off Facebook Marketplace. Okay, uh, over in Mason City, which is about 15 minutes southeast of here where I live. And he included this uh, center surround speaker, uh, the remote that does work, the uh, right and left front speakers for the surround, and a subwoofer right here. I apologize for my camera lagging. I have some uh, technical issues I need to work out in my phone uh my provider is currently working on it for us uh, but anyways so here we'll do a quick sound check i don't want to get a copyright so that's why i kept it really limited y'all let's see if i can find something here that won't raise a copyright flag on youtube i know i can find something See if we can find one of the public broadcast stations in our area here. I'm not really familiar with the radio stations in Northern Iowa here because I don't listen to the radio hardly ever. So, yeah, there it is. I don't know what this music is, but hopefully YouTube don't grab a copyright for that. I just wanted something you guys could hear to hear the sound of this receiver. I cannot wait to have a potluck with families and friends. Well, there sure ain't much in the way of uh, stations here. Here we go, hold on. Huh. Well, we're not having very good luck with radio stations, are we? So you get the gist of it though, y'all, don't you? Alright. So anyways, you guys and gals, uh, this is the first of two stereos that I'm going to review here to the channel. These are recent acquisitions. If you can, uh, go over and check out my community tab on our channel, and I will have a picture of this particular receiver plus the other one that I picked up after I got this one. So... All in, I am $50 in on this particular receiver here uh, on eBay and on uh, Google search queue as to what's available for these kind of stereos. These stereos here typically go for $50 to $100, and in a few extreme cases, I've seen a few between $1 and $200. Uh, I picked this up for 50 bucks, and that included the two top speakers, this center speaker, and this uh, sub. So I figured uh, I can part all this out, and I could probably sell the sub, maybe even both of them. We'll see. I have another third one that I didn't bring out here for this, but uh, with the remote, I could sell the receiver and a remote for its by itself for probably about 60 70 bucks on marketplace here this particular receiver has drawn a lot of flack from a few of the different youtubers that do have videos on this here on youtube and the main complaint that i was able to take away from their videos was that this doesn't have adequate power to the front channels that most of your bass and the bass reflex is going to come from the subwoofer and not from the front right and left channels so tomorrow i'm going to hook up a set of yamaha 300 watt uh impedance on both of them well not impedance wattage and uh we're going to see just how this performs i'm hoping to uh download a youtube uh, copyright free royalty free music here so that I can properly demonstrate the sound capabilities I do believe this is a hidden gem I have never seen one of these anywhere until I purchased this one 
And the guy I bought from was very reputable on Marketplace. He was very straightforward. He was very punctual about the meetup. Uh, and he even carried the equipment out to my car. What a nice gentleman he was. And I gave him a very high rating on the Marketplace for uh, rating the buyer and seller. Which, you guys, if you're going to do purchasing and selling on Marketplace, please be sure that you discuss with the seller or the purchaser to go on and give an honest, fair rating, whether it might not be so high or it might be a great review. But either way, be honest. Make sure that you do that as it helps all of us who buy and sell here on Marketplace uh, to get trustable deals, something that you can buy relatively cheap in good condition. And this one has... An A audio input on the front, three and a half connection, which is something you don't really see a whole lot of on these. Uh, in my next video on this, we're going to connect a set of house speakers to it. And not only that, I am going to open the top and I'm going to take you on a tour throughout the internal workings of this particular receiver. We will go over the wedge and an impotence here. And uh, I'm not sure if it was this particular receiver or if it was this other one I got right over here. This is also a Pioneer. But one of these had an impotence switch on the back. You could flip between 8, 16, and 4 ohm speakers, which I've never seen on any stereos, and I've had a lot over the years. So, uh, yeah, it's got a very nice display, guys and gals. Look at how nice and clear that is. No burned out LEDs. This is a uh, fluorescent gas vacuum tube display. And it's very detailed. It's very responsive. Everything works on this. There are no nicks, no scratches, no dust, no crud, no nothing. The guy that had this before me took very good condition of it. He took very good care of it. And, uh, you know, I wasn't snooping when I went in his house. But just by the look of the inside of his house, when I was in there briefly to get this, he tested it out in front of me, and it worked just fine. But I also noticed that he had what appeared to be uh, some high-performance uh, audio equipment and speakers lined up in his living room. And he told me, he says, me and my wife used this unit up until you purchased it. And he says, it always did us right. So, you know, uh, retail, this unit here, you're typically going to pay between $59 and uh, $99 for one in this condition. And uh, likewise, when we sell these, I do give them a guarantee or your money back. It's not an implied warranty, it's just a guarantee as a seller that you're getting a good quality product that's been thoroughly tested. Uh, we also do a 12 hour power on test for all receivers to make sure that none of the capacitors or resistors on the boards are gonna let go. And uh, so it seems to work. And it's got a full function remote, guys and gals, look at that. Everything you could ever need on a remote to properly operate this system and you can also do DVD DVR and it, the connections are all on the back and uh, I'm not going to rotate this because of the uh, kind of sketchy way I've got it all sitting here but uh, in the in internal reveal video which should probably be next up on the channel if we don't review that one over there first and I also wanted to bring you guys up to speed on my other two acquisitions here. We picked up a Yamaha Clear Sound uh, powered amplifier sub that's uh, pretty well uh, got a lot of options you don't typically get on a lot of these. Plus, there's more on the back. And then above that, this was a thrift store find. It's an Alltech Lansing powered subwoofer which uses those two little speakers. There's one on the other side of all this. And this little gem, she's dirty right now, but I'll tell you what, she performs like a champ. And so does this one, but I haven't got it fine-tuned in to work with my stereo. For those of you who don't know, this is uh, my number one home-based stereo. 
and I hooked up that Mitsubishi dual deck, which is going to be in another video coming up. We're going to open it up, and we're going to uh, replace the solenoids to kick the doors open for the tape deck, because they're both worn. <laughs> this here is an Iowa. Uh, this is a stereo receiver AVD. D55 with T Super Bass. I bought this brand new in Des Moines 20 years ago uh, for myself. And it cost me just short of $500. And it was the first thing I bought after I got my life back on track. I got sober from drugs back in 2000. I got a good job. My dad took me to Best Buy and I bought this brand new. And it works uh, perfecto. A lot of these units have suffered uh, the displays fail on them. And this one here thus far, it, it works just like brand new. This unit has less than 100 hours of runtime on it since I bought it. And then up top we got a TAC. If I just carousel, which I repaired, the drawer was off track. And somebody had put something heavy on here, which squeezed down and prevented the track from working properly. Well, we since fixed that, I'll show you. See, look how nice she opens. She closes just perfect, nice and quiet, works just right, works perfect. And down below, like I said, we got the Mitsubishi, but she ain't plugged in. So, okay, guys, not to cut this short, but uh, we got a lot going on with equipment here at the channel lately. Uh, I think the fast food reviews are uh, about run their course here on this channel, and we're going to be transferring over to electronics. I'm going to uh, update one of our second channels, and it's going to become the new platform to run all our food reviews. And, uh, and our third channel is going to be dedicated fully to abandoned exploration. So we ain't got a mix mix of everything all on one channel. I'm going to start separating it out. And I expect the first new changes to roll out here probably by the end of next month. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up. Uh, any questions you may have, concerns, thoughts, uh, things I can do to better improve these videos, or things I can do to improve the equipment, or maybe something that's just not common knowledge that you may know, I'd appreciate it if you maybe take a minute to share it with me. Also, I want to show us one little thing here before I jump up. Look at there. Plays Window Media, trademark. No, I have never seen that on any piece of equipment that has entered my house yet, so. All right, let's test her out. Let's turn the power off. Boom, just like that. So you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit on the long side, but uh, I've been promising this video for quite a while. And, you know, if you do your research and you go spend a little time just kind of Scroll on our marketplace, you'd be surprised all the stuff that you're gonna find and how cheap it is and you know, especially when you're dealing with those who just want stuff gone or they don't realize the value or they've just had it forever and upgraded. These kind of good deals here, though they're not top of the line, they are a great starter unit for somebody who is an audiophile. Uh, myself, I tend to go after more older equipment, but I do like playing with this new stuff here and just seeing how much different it is from what I grew up with, because I grew up in the, in the monster receiver wars of the 80s and 70s, and that's the kind of stereos I want to add to my collection. So, once again, everybody, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, please feel free to check out our playlist for many more videos like this. I'm going to become, I'm going to be creating a audio 
uh, equipment playlists on our channel where all these stereo videos like this will start going from now on. And they're going to be transferring the videos and the playlists of the food reviews over to our check it, second channel. And vice versa, with all our band explorers, you'd be going to our third channel. And I'll leave links in our community tab for those channels. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, here's a sneak peek at the pine, the Yamaha house speakers I'm going to connect. There they are, guys and gals. I got my Budweiser neon lights with a Budweiser Clydesdale. But there it is, Yamaha speakers. And I'll reveal what I paid for those in the next video. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so very much. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for taking the time to come and watch our videos. We love each and every one of you, and we appreciate each and every one of you. And we hope to see you back here real soon, maybe in the next comment section of the next video. I reply all comments, and uh, anything that is inappropriate or off topic, I tend to remove. So that's it, guys and gals. Peace out from your friend here. It's a Rome Everything Day. Bye-bye and peace out. Take care, my friends.